This week saw the culmination of, of a really uh, long and passionate battle in Wisconsin that began well over a year ago with uh, protests in response to Scott Walker's push to take collective bargaining away from public sector unions. Those protests uh, ultimately were not successful in keeping the bill from being passed, but they did galvanize the opposition into a political movement to try to remove Walker and several state senators from office. I think at some points in the last year and a half, uh, it was expected, um, I don't think rightly, to be a, a done deal. Uh, there were quiet reservations expressed uh, even on the part of some Democrats acknowledging it'd be a tall order. And I think you saw some signs of reluctance even on the part of some Democrats at the idea of recalling a governor over objections to a very specific piece of legislation. And this was a romp. Unions just got kicked in the rump. I think there are real questions after the results of this election on how influential uh, public sector unions are going to remain and how the issues that they hold as central are going to continue to influence uh, the national conversation. I do think you're going to see other governors in other states um, take Scott Walker's victory uh, and run with it a bit and maybe try to confront uh, unions in their states, whether they're pushing right to work laws or a similar undoing uh, of collective bargaining rights and actually try to make it happen and use this as momentum. Scott Walker, of course, was the most notable uh, of Republican governors that came into office and pushed against unions straight away. But he certainly wasn't the only one last year. And I don't think he'll prove to be the only one in the next year to come. And we don't have any other resource left but the people you see here behind me. And if the people you see here behind me can't get it done tonight, it's done. Democracy's dead. The big reason why these results uh, were particularly hard for Democrats to handle is not just that they lost this particular election, uh, but that the results uh, say a lot about where we are right now in terms of the influence money has on politics. Something on the order of more than $125 million may have been spent in Wisconsin just for this election alone, which is a staggering number. I think what Republicans showed is they're out to win this year and win by any means necessary. And that includes spending big under new regulations that allow them to do it. And I think it should serve as a real warning sign, uh, not just to Democrats, but to the country as a whole, uh, that this is what the new age of politics looks like in the age of unlimited money. Uh, and we're at the beginning of what that new world looks like, uh, far, far, far from the end.